Howdy, so my name's Brad Mowby. I was the 2014 Trainee of the Year. Um, since doing the Trainee of the Year awards, I've actually gone on and judged for the next four years. And I've also gone to the Australian Training Awards and done some judging for them, as well as been invited to go down to Sydney and Canberra to do a bit of mentoring with the finalists. Um, so this is Kimberly, who was the... Hello. I'll let her introduce herself. That's so good. So my name is Kimberly Brewster. I won the 2018 Trainee of the Year, um, the National Awards, and obviously the NT as well, um, which is a really good experience. And um, Brad was actually one of my judges, so there was no conflict of you know, interest there, but it was just like, hey, um, which was awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, so basically every the, Amy and the other finalists have covered a lot of what I was going to say, but I think definitely the main thing to remember with the judging process is the judges are people too. Um, they just want to hear about your story. Um, and one of the things that Amy said really stood out for me was we read a lot of applications. You've got to put some personality into your application. Make, make yourself stand out. Um, don't use big words um, because it's just the judges don't, they want to hear about you. They don't want to hear about how smart you are, how many, how many big words you know. They want to know your story, your journey. Um, and definitely feel free to stand up and be proud and say, this is what I've done and I've, I've done well. Um, we, we want to know about that. We want to know people who are going to be able to go out there and promote the vet sector as a viable career path. Um, you want Absolutely. to... Yeah. And anything else? Um, oh, there's lots of things I could talk about, really. <laughs> um, well, I'll start off with the judging um, for the NT Training Awards. So my experience was obviously very nervous. Um, I'm a very nervous person. Obviously, I'm very proud of how far I've come. Um, and um, again, yeah, really just speak about your personal story and your achievements and all that. There's no point saying you've done this if you can't support it. So um, for any of you that are nominating a few, like, um, you know, hats off to you, thanks. Because then just the nomination in general really gives them a good, um, you know, good feeling, I guess. Um, and then to progress to finalists, um, yeah, it means a lot. You know, you get to put something else on your resume as well. So, um, and uh, yeah, so the judging day was, um, judging weekend was, was it the Saturday or the Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. So we had all this preparation um, to get us ready um, and then obviously networking as well which really um, helped. And then with the judging day I had two judges um, and again was nervous and I was pretty much walking around in circles and then she came <laughs> out and was like, I bet you're Kimberly and I'm like, yes I am. So then I walked in there and that kind of broke the ice. Um, but then yeah, just going in there and really um, adding that personal touch. So with the NT Training Awards, I actually um, went in there. I'm like, I want to show them that I'm a really good advocate. But when um, we progressed to the Sydney, I was like, you know what, we're ready winners. Um, doesn't matter if you win nationals or NT or whatever you're winning. Um, but we're all winners, so I went in there and I'm like, well, I'm going to tell them my um, personal story. And um, yeah, when they called my name, I was like, oh, you know, shocked. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I just walked in there just to tell you my story. But um, I must have told it really well or it's a really good story. So yeah, no, it's really good. When Kimberly yeah. actually went in for the National, she actually took in with her a copy of the Territory Q magazine where there was actually a massive two-page article on her. <laughs> so she was obviously very proud. She showed that all off and left it there for the other judges to read, which was... Um... Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a good point. So, yeah, if they've got any evidence as well to bring that in, it's always good to show that, I mean, you're proud of your achievements as well. So anything? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Another yeah. thing to mention too is that people who win the um, state and territory awards and go to the nationals they actually get invited to the National Vet Alumni, which is a national community of um, individuals, organisations who are dedicated to promoting the vet sector. Um, so that's another, it's a really good community, it's a good place to make connections, meet new people. Um, I've been down, I just went down recently to Canberra for a national meeting of them and there was actually a really good time to catch up with old people, make some new connections. I met a few new people down there who's going to help, who I think are going to help me with my career with um, trying to organise to do some stuff to promote the vet sector for National Skills Week. So it's, it's all about getting our message out there. Mm. So do we have any questions? <laughs> oh yeah, that's when I was crying. <laughs> Pretty much cried the whole time. Um, but yeah, the whole experience was unreal. Um, being able to meet other, um, you know, just people and speak about their journeys and stories as well really gives you that inspiration to just keep on achieving and just to never stop. Doesn't matter, you know, how old you are or how young you are. So yeah. 
Okay, don't wear heels that you haven't worn before. <laughs> um, because I took them off thinking, you know, oh, I'm not going to win, that's right. I shouldn't go in with that attitude. So I just wore my um, sandals and um, I was the shortest one on stage. And uh, yeah, then I won and um, in my sandals. <laughs> <laughs> and that made the um, anti-news. <laughs> I didn't have any of those issues. <laughs>